Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn. Today I am doing scrambled eggs for a crowd. I have 20 large eggs in my bowl here and I'm gonna pour a little bit of cream and that's gonna make it nice and creamy and about a tablespoon of salt and about two teaspoons of pepper. And that's all I'm gonna do. If you wanted to put chives in here, you could do that. If you wanted to put um, hot sauce in here, you could do that. You could make it all Mexican-like. You could add um, even some tomatoes and kind of omelette like if you wanted to do that. But this is straight scrambled eggs. It's gonna be so good. I've got some butter already heating in my pan. And I'm gonna get this really, really good mixed up and pour it straight over into my nonstick skillet. I think it's super important to have a nonstick skillet for this because you're gonna be wanting to let the bottom get really good and done. I still see some eggs in there. Um, you're gonna be wanting the bottom to get nice and done, but not brown. You don't want it to be brown because we're gonna try to make some fluffy eggs here. I don't want little tiny curds and I don't want it to be um, overdone. So that's gonna be really important not to get it overdone. So it's on medium heat. I don't like to do it on um, high heat. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to make sure that all my egg yolks are broken and everything's mixed up and I've got all that cream in here mixed in. Okay, so here we go into the pan. All right, there we go. Yum, yum, yum. So I had about two tablespoons of butter that I put in there. Now I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute and let that just heat up and you know get all into like maybe a centimeter or two, get it done on the bottom before I start to move the pan around. Just one second. Okay, let me check on that. All right, so I'm gonna shake this just a tad. And you can kind of see when it starts to pull away from the sides that it's time, but it's not quite there yet. When you look right here, it's there a tiny bit, but I would like to see more of that. It only goes down just a little bit. So I'm still needing it to get a little bit hotter. All right, here we go. So it's gonna take probably about two minutes, two to three minutes before you move the pan at all. All right, so it's been about two to three minutes and you can see right here how this is beginning to really get done. So I'm just gonna move that and kind of just move this around just a little bit and then allow this to get done now. Let me make sure I got all of everything up off of the pan. Okay, so I want this big and pretty. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave this alone for another minute or so and watch the edge again. And as you can see, it's beginning to, it's all faster this time, beginning to get um, done up next to the edge. All right, and I see how that's beautiful and kind of layery like but it's not small and curd-like. I really love that. Okay, now I'm gonna try to make sure that the, the part that's not done gets up under this other, there we go. Okay, there we are. Okay, now, I've watched Julia Child and Jacques Pepin do their eggs, and they say that an overdone egg is a bad egg. So they would rather have it on the underdone side because when you put it back into the bowl, it's gonna continue to cook. Okay, so we see that we are almost there. I am trying to make sure I get just that, the very last part of this done. Okay, now I think that we are just about there. Okay, we're ready. Now, the other thing that Jock Pepin and Julia Child say is to put it back in the same bowl that you got the eggs from because they're gonna continue to cook and it's gonna cook that little bit that's left in the bottom and it's just gonna make it that much better. All right, so that was 20 eggs. So if you think you're gonna need more than that, do another batch and just pour it straight into the bowl. So there that is. And I'm gonna top that with a little bit of pepper and you could put uh, some parsley or chives or whatever you want to. And to me, 
the best thing ever is just a little bit of egg or a lot of egg. That's probably about three, <laughs> three eggs right there and a little bit of bacon. And you've got yourself something delicious, creamy, and just so heavenly delicious. Mm-hmm. They are perfect. So that's how you make eggs for a large crowd. Y'all subscribe. Stacey Lynn Harris.